Welcome back to Face Off, everybody. We're jumping in with our game pick of the week, which this week is the 6-0 Denver Broncos at the 4-2 Indianapolis Colts. Tom, I'm going to start with you. Who wins this game on Sunday night? Originally, I thought it was going to be the Colts, but the way they played against the Chargers just completely flipped my mind. I, I think the Broncos are definitely going to are going to pull through with that one. Yeah, the Chargers aren't a good team, team by yeah. any means, but I'm taking the Colts. They've upset the 49ers and the Seahawks already this season. I see them as a team to you know, work some magic when they need to, so I'm going to go with the Colts against the Broncos. I'm going to go with the Broncos. I went against Andrew Luck last week, and it went against me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again because apparently I just don't learn from past mistakes. <laughs> but I'm going to have to go with that. I don't think I think they're going to be another victim of the Mile Holly juggernaut. Okay. With this this Denver team, they're going to go to six and zero. All right, Derek. Let's go. Final thoughts for you. Final thoughts. I was very surprised that this was not one of the top things we were going to talk about on this show, the Adrian Peterson mm -hmm. situation, and just absolutely just sympathy just outpouring from the community, from the Absolutely. country. And it's incredibly touching to see everybody coming out to help the guy. He's one of the best players in the league, one of the best running backs, if not the best yeah. in fantasy and statistically. But nobody deserves something no, like that to happen. And it was breaking news. It's all over the tabloids, the newspapers, and just heartfelt wishes for the Peterson family. Yeah. And, again, Peterson's not a guy who's ever done anything to anybody. No. He's not a, a cocky guy in the NFL that people have a reason to dislike. So it really is. It, and he I, took it with stride. That's the thing. He did. That happened, and he was. He said when he heard about that, I was reading in an article, he heard about it happening, he felt the emotion for it, but he was wondering about when he could see the next game film to mm -hmm. get ready for the next game. He's a, he's a true professional. Call that coping, but that's professionalism. Yeah. Tom, your final thought for me. My today. final thought is also on the, the Adrian Peterson thing. It's just okay. it's really sickening how why anybody would even think that that's a rational thing to do to anybody, what, mm -hmm. whether it's a two-year-old kid or a 30-year-old person, just beating someone like that is just un, un, it's ridiculous. I really don't even have it's words It's unfathomable. For it. it's, yeah, it's you can't think of how people but would Yeah, do but that. I've never heard anybody say, hey, uh, I don't like Adrian Peterson. He's a respectable guy. He's, no, absolutely. No, he's, he's, he's a great human being, just, mm -hmm. and he's had, a, he's had a rough life, and I remember reading in a different article how he was like, you know, I don't, I don't I'm playing on Sunday. Like, mm -hmm. they, yeah. he... He, I, could, I can't believe he didn't he, like, he take knows, a week off. He, he's like, I'm playing on Sunday. He was Sunday. determined. Like we said, he's, yeah. he's a professional. He knows he, what he's got to do and what he's expected yeah, to he's, do. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's, yeah. a great, he's a great man. All right, but I'm going to cheer things up a little bit because we got a little down for a yeah. second. Yeah, let's bring it I'm up I'm going to go ahead and I'm going I'm to make a prediction. Okay. okay. I'm going to come up with an this obscene prediction, and it's going to be right because that's how I roll. Okay. Let's New see. York Giants. We talked about them. They're 0-6 at this point. Now, a lot of people are probably Predicting thinking he's, he's going to pick them, you know, lose a ton of games. No. They're going to end up with six wins this season. At some point, Eli Manning, this whole team turns it around. It's going to be too little, too late. But they're going to bounce back. They're going to win six games this season. Six games. You are out of your mind. I, I, I know, but it's the insane. good kind. It's like the Jim Carrey out of your mind. You know what, that though? Is a good kind. You know what, though? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to knock you for that just because, I mean, it's not a very bold decision. I mean, <laughs> saying that they're going to win six games, that's great. It's not like you came out. I thought you were going to say, oh, they're going to win the division. It was just like, <laughs> they could. It's not that ridiculous yeah. at this point. At this having, point, they really could. Having them get six wins isn't incredibly impossible. It's very unlikely that they're going to do mm -hmm. it because they have shown no inkling of coming back from it at all thus far. I just think they have too many problems. But we'll see. That's what I'm going to I was with. the optimist the whole episode. That's I'll true. let you be you, the optimist You can remember now. this in a couple of weeks when they've got like their four and six all of a sudden. Kyle's looking a little bit better. Tom, let's go with your game ball for this week. My game ball for this week goes to Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Mm -hmm. That, I, I swear, when I, when I saw him get up to bat with the bases loaded, I said to myself, he's hitting this one out. Yep. I, I don't know how I predicted it. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud, but... Like, right after he hit it, I was like, man, I should have said it out loud. I would have looked like a genius. <laughs> but game, game ball, David Ortiz. All right, Derek, what about you? I'm um, actually doing something. I think this is the first time it's been done on face-off. So let's see. This might be memorable tape. I'm splitting the game ball in half. Okay. Giving it to two people. It's a New England version of game ball for me. David Ortiz, of course, is going to get one half of that ball for the grand slam that spurs the comeback. That's It's all too common at this point for the Red Sox to come back in these uh, games. That it's, might have swung the momentum for the whole series at this point. Yeah, it's it's for the comeback and Big Poppy always being that guy. You said that you expected him to hit that home run yeah. when he came up, and that's because he's done it so many times exactly. in Boston history for this team and for this club. And the other half goes to Tom Brady. It goes to Tom Brady, and I don't like Tom Brady, but I'm going to give it to him. Hate it's him. because he pulled together a bare-bones mm -hmm. Patriots staff that really he has no weapons. 
Tom Brady yeah. is the weapon. He's throwing it to the receivers and making them look very good, better than they actually are, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. beating they, the Saints with five seconds yeah. on the they clock, looked like they I were was out of that so game. mad because we all picked the Saints, yeah, we, not you, obviously, but Saints. when Ryan was here. If I w- would have been here, I would have picked the, the Saints. The only solace well. I took was that Ryan now has a loss. All right. Record. And I really thought the Patriots were going to lose that one. My game ball goes to the entire Kansas City Chiefs fan base. They set the sound record in the stadium this week, made Terrell Pryor look like an idiot. And, and so my game ball is just going to go to everybody. You broke it into two. I'm breaking it into 40,000. <laughs> All right. Just got to upstage. So that's face off for this week, guys. Again, I'm Kyle. I'm here with Tom and Derek. No Ryan this week. He decided to watch the Flyers. But hopefully you tune in next week.